based off of the formula here for the tangent of, four, of theta equals 4 pi over 3, we're going to determine what the sine of the double angle, sine 2 theta is equal to, cosine of 2 theta, then the half angle for both sine and cosine. Uh, what I need to do first is find what the cosine theta and sine theta is equal to. That's not too hard. Uh, there are bounds are between pi and 3 pi over 2, which means I'm over here at the unit circle. It's going to be between, come on, there and there. And since the tangent's opposite over adjacent, that means that our slope down is going to be equal to 4, and our slope here is going to be equal to 3. Even though these are both negative, uh, they cancel each other out, so it's a positive value. All right, so that means that our cosine theta is equal to negative 3 over 5, and our sine theta is equal to negative 4 over 5. All right, so starting off, sine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 times negative 4 over 5 times negative 3 over 5 is equal to um, 24 over 25. So that, and then cosine of 2 theta is going to be equal to, I'm going to go ahead and use the second formula here. You can use one of the three. And what you're going to do is it's going to be cosine squared, which is equal to negative 3 over 5 minus negative 4 over 5 squared, both squared. This gives us 9 over 25 minus 16 over 25, which is negative 7 over 25. The half angle of the sine is going to be equal to, let's see here, um, excuse me, uh, we're going to use our top formula there, which is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus the cosine, in this case, negative 3 over 5 over 2, which is going to give us plus or minus square root of what's that, which is 8 over 5 over 2, plus or minus square root of uh, 4 over 5. I'm skipping some steps here, but it's going to end up being plus or minus 2 root 5 over 5. And then for the cosine of theta divided by 2, plus or minus square root of uh, 1 plus cosine, which is negative 3 over 5 over 2, which is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 over 5. So it's going to be 2 over 5 divided by 2, which is ultimately plus or minus square root of 1 over 5, because these two cancel each other out. And because you don't want radicals on the bottom, it's ultimately going to be root 5 over 5. And Let's see here. That's it. Oh, wait, shoot. I'm sorry. Um, let me look. I just want to make a clarification here. I made a mis I didn't really make too much of a mistake, but this right here, uh, here, let me take care of this. This should actually be for 9. That should be positive because I'll explain this in a little bit. And right here, down here, where am I? Right there. Come on. Erase it. All right. This should be negative because the half angles. Because for the uh, sine, the half angle of the sine here, let me draw a circle here. Almost. For the sine, uh, this is roughly where our angle is. A well, half angle is going to be, well, I'd say roughly somewhere up here. Somewhere up here. Our sine value, which is opposite over hypotenuse, is positive, And our cosine value is negative in this case because it's left of the um, x-axis, or the left of um, the y-axis. Y -axis. So... Uh, that's it. Those answers are correct, I know.